Yo, what's up? Dr. Soul here, MD Bodybuilder, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing another full day of eating. I'll be showing you everything I eat, with the macros included, over a 24-hour workday. You'll see how I plan my meals and fit it into a busy day as a doctor bodybuilder. If you've been enjoying my content so far, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get into it. Let's see my weight here. 163.4. I've got one of these pre-cooked chicken breasts from Costco and one and a half of these cheese bagels. I'll be eating these in the car on my way to work. Hey guys, I'm at the hospital now. I'm currently deloading and when I deload, I set my calories at maintenance, whether I'm in a bulking phase or in a fat loss phase. Reason being that I'm probably not building muscles since my training volume is set at maintenance. So I feel that if you're bulking throughout your deload, you're probably just putting on fat. I'm currently on neuro, which means I'll be reading scans of the brain and the spinal cord. We still have to wear masks in the hospital. There was a COVID outbreak at this hospital recently, so we are getting an extra shipment of vaccines. I've gotten my first dose already. It's changed into some scrubs here. Hey guys, this is the CT body room where I've been hanging out. I'm with my boy here, Mark. It's a super genius, been holding down the fort here. Just to show you a bit of what I do here, this is an MRI of someone's brain. So each of these sequences will tell me something different about the properties of the structures that we see. This one up here is really good for looking for abnormalities in the brain itself. This one's good for looking at the CSF fluid spaces. And this one is good for picking up acute strokes. Just to scroll through here, these are their eyes. We've got their nose and sinuses and teeth down here. You can see from the side right here. So if someone had a stroke or a tumor or an abscess in their brain, I'd be able to see all of that here. As it's 11.50, day has been going well. I'm just gonna take a break for lunch. Lunch, I've got this meal prepped pork tenderloin and pasta with Alfredo sauce. Pork tenderloin actually made for a really easy meal prep. Just bake the whole thing and it slices up really easily into meal sized portions. We've got noon rounds now where staff will show us challenging cases and see if we can get the right answer. There's um, possibly some lucency around the superior most screw. Um, obviously it would be important to compare this to prior imaging to see um, if this is a stable finding or if this represents true lucency. Hey guys, it's 2.53. I've got a little break this afternoon before I start call. So the way it works is I will show up to a full normal shift during the day and I'm on call overnight from 6 p.m. till 8 a.m. tomorrow. Anyways, it's very unusual to get a break. I got lucky because my boss was helping me out. So just going for a walk and I'm probably going to catch up on some editing with my time off. Anyways, I've been really enjoying work and grateful to be in a specialty that I really enjoy. I'm just going to find somewhere to do some work here in the calf. Hey guys, it's 4.03 and I'm just doing some editing here. This is a look at my crater studio where you can see I've got my next video all set up. I pretty much do everything for my channel myself, which is really cool because I have full control over what my content looks like and how it gets portrayed. Hey guys, I'm just gonna have a snack here. I've got a pear and one of these protein bars. It's 4.42. It's 5.28. I'm just gonna head up and have a shower before my shift actually starts. See if I can show you guys the physique update as well. Bulking has been going well. It's definitely been tough sometimes to actually get into a surplus. Um, my body isn't very good at putting on weight. It's a lot better at maintaining and losing weight. All right, so here's the resident area. I'm just gonna shower in here. I can basically live in the hospital. Guys, here is my call room. While we're here, let's do a physique update quick. See how I'm looking? It's 5.50, so I should probably head down now. I will see you down in the reading room. Hey guys, it's 7.42. I'm just gonna take a break for dinner. It's been pretty quiet so far. Fingers crossed that it stays that way. I've got one of these cans of beef chili and they're actually pretty handy to bring along assuming you've got a container already and I've got my lunch container that I can use. Got some of these raisins for carbs and another bag of these cherry tomatoes and baby carrots. All right, I've got my chili heated up here. 
I like to place foods on a continuum of how calorie dense they are for you. The way I look at this is if you were to eat those foods in a balanced diet until you're full, would you gain weight, maintain, or lose weight? If you eat those kinds of foods until you're full and you gain weight, then that's a calorie positive food. If you eat those foods until you're full and your weight stays stable, then that's a neutral calorie balanced food. And if you were to eat those foods until you're full and lose weight, then those would be negative calorie balanced foods. As I said before, I'm aiming for maintenance calories this week since I'm deloading, so I'll eat neutral calorie balanced foods for me. Note that different foods fall onto different places along the spectrum for different people. If I eat enough chili and dried fruit until I'm full, my weight will stay stable, but for some people, they'll gain weight. And for example, if you give me a lot of low-fat, high-carb foods, my weight will tend to stay stable or I'll even lose weight. Whereas for a lot of people who really love carbs, and I know a lot of you are because I did a poll, when you give them high-carb, low-fat foods, they'll still gain weight. Having an understanding of where different foods lie in the spectrum for you is really helpful because when your goals change, you can simply substitute different foods in your diet, maintaining the same diet structure, and be able to hit your macros and still be full. That being said, for more extreme goals, like if you're trying to bulk for a long time, or if you're trying to get really, really lean, then you might still be full or still be hungry despite what you do in terms of food choice. But making the right selections always helps. This person was found down a few days ago and we found that they had this stroke. It might be easier to see on this coronal, so if I'm scrolling through, this is their face, you can see their eyes, and going through their brain, you can see that big area of darkness here. Hey guys, it's 11.50 and this is the current situation here. Got some popcorn. And my bedtime snack is going to be this popcorn, which is butter flavored, but it's pretty lean. It's got, this bag only has a couple of grams of fat and this protein shake. You obviously need to be careful about the popcorn because some of the flavored ones have a lot of calories, but if you choose it right, it can be a very low calorie and filling snack. If I was really trying to get into a deficit, I would use unflavored popcorn and add salt and Splenda. Hey guys, it's 11, 12 p.m. I'm gonna try and take a nap. The good thing is if anyone wants an urgent CT scan in the hospital, they'll need to call me, so I haven't really been calling a lot of things, which is promising. Okay, let's hope we don't get called. I'll talk to you guys later. It's 12, 16. All right, spill with radiology returning page. All right, just have you put the rec in? Okay, just put that in, we'll get it done. You're welcome, bye. Internal medicine wants uh, angiogram to look for an aneurysm in this person who has a... Here we go in. Hi, it's Bill with radiology returning page. Yeah, what was the name? Someone wants me to have a look at a CT of someone's chest. Let's go. Hey guys, it's 2.16 a.m. Had some excitement. One of the studies actually was positive, so this patient actually had clots in her lungs. Um, I'm just gonna eat this protein bar, and I normally just will debit my midnight eating out of my next day's portions in terms of calorie balance as long as it works out overall. Hopefully I get some uninterrupted sleep here. Hi, it's Bill with Radiology Returning Page. Hi, it's Bill with Radiology Returning Page. Hi, it's Bill with Radiology. Hey guys, it's 8.43 and I'm off. It was a pretty tough shift. I had some really challenging cases, but survived. I'm gonna head home and I will update you on the macros later. Hey guys, it's a few days later and I'm just gonna share my macros here. So over the day, discounting that midnight meal, my protein was 168 grams, carbs 396, and 78 grams of fat. That adds up to 2,958 calories, which is right around my maintenance as planned. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and leave me a comment below. I'm really good about answering every single one of my comments, so you'll definitely hear back from me. In particular, what kind of videos do you want to see me post? Let me know. If you want to see more full day of eating videos by me, check out... Oh shoot, the lights just went out here. I'm at the hospital. Anyways, check out this playlist where you'll see how I create the most flexible meal plans possible as a doctor bodybuilder. I have videos on bulking and cutting, so check them out.
If you've been getting value from my channel, make sure you subscribe and share the channel with your fitness friends so they can benefit from it too. See you next time.